Hello everyone, my name is AB and this is Blender52. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a hologram, which you can see here in the foreground of this render. It's nice and easy, straightforward, but gives really great result. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just obliterate the cube, get rid of him, and we are going to insert a cylinder. So the first part that we're making is just the little pedestal from which the hologram shines. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then create a little time lapse for you so you don't have to sit through it. Okay, then the next thing we're going to do is insert another cylinder. And this is the basis for the actual light that shines up and out of the hologram. Now, the reason that I use a cylinder and not a cone is that I don't like the way all the vertices join into a point on the cone. So we do it like that and we're going to take the top face and we're going to delete it. And then we're just going to F3 and we're going to smooth, push smooth shade and let's make it a little bit flatter and just drag that down okay so the next thing we're going to do is just create a material for this little hologram so we go to delete the principal bsdf and what we need is an emission shader we need a mix shader we need a transparent shader we're going to put the transparent on top and the emission on the bottom and we're going to connect the shader to the surface for material output. We are then going to add a texture and we want a gradient texture because we want it to grade, make a gradient from the bottom up and we're going to use the FAC output there and drag that in there and then we're just going to hit control button, control T which is available to you if you have the node wrangler add-on enabled and then hitting control t allows you to add in the mapping and texture node automatically so we're going to come here under rotation on the x and we're going to make that 90 and we're going to make the z 90 as well let's give this a nice blue color and we're going to turn it up a bit and let's preview that and see what it's doing so you can see that it's it's got a very minimal gradient. So what we're going to do is bring in a color ramp, drop that in there, and we're just going to dial this up a bit, swap them around, and let's make it B spline, which gives you a much more subtle fade. And if we do something like that, that starts to look to look pretty decent. While we're in the materials, let's select that guy. And let's just give it a nice black metallic with a low roughness so that it's able to reflect the light as well. So let's just... Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is bring in our model. In this case, I will be bringing in a bark, but you can bring in whatever it is that you're working on. So I'm just going to hop on over here to my bark folder. And I've got a bark selected already, but let's take this one instead. And we're just going to copy that and we're going to come back into our hologram, go into front view, let's paste it so we can see it's rather large. So we're just going to scale it down a bit, bring it chain to the hologram, let's go side view and line that in side view as well. So let's make it a little bit kind of that size-ish. And then what we want to do is we want to come up here to your transform pivot point and we're going to change it from bounding box to individual origins. So we're going to select that. And now when we press S and scale and we scale downwards, we can see that everything kind of separates a little bit. So if we just scale it down a little, make it separate we can see that it starts looking like it's an expanded or exploded view so we scale it down a little bit and then you might want to come in and just adjust things a little bit 
like this seat is out of place so let's just drag that seat there dash cap over there and we're going to just take a few of these pieces because they actually have similar pivot points due to the way that I, I built the bark so let's just drag that one up like that so that gives us a nice looking expanded view next we're going to choose any object in your scene let's just bring that spring there choose any object in the scene in this case we're doing the back wheel and we're going to go over to the modifiers tab and we are going to choose wireframe now we're going to use something really low here something like 0 0.01 okay, let's make it a little bit too low 0 0.05 0 0.06 let's try for there then we're going to press A to select everything, B to box deselect. So now we've got everything selected except for the hologram and the pedestal. And we want to apply this selection to the active selection. So we're going to say Control L and we're going to go modifiers. And that's going to apply that modifier to everything else that we had selected. And then we're going to reselect that back wheel. Let's give it a new material. We're just going to give it an emission shader. So let's drag that on there and we're going to make it blue. Give it a strength of say about five or so. Okay, and then once again, we're going to select all of that, deselect the, the hologram. We're going to say Control L. And this time, instead of going on to modifiers, we're going to choose materials. And once again, that will copy from the active onto everything else. So now you can already start to see our hologram really coming together. It's looking good. So what we want to do next is we can choose any point really. And we're going to bring in a plane. And let's just scale it down. And you can see my screencast keys have turned off again. For some reason, this is very glitchy as a plugin. It doesn't seem to work very well. Let's just delete one of those vertices so that we've got a line. Drag that one down a little bit. And we're going to then duplicate this. Let's point this one. So you can't see this because it's actually behind. So let's just bring it in front so it's easier to see. Maybe we do that. So let's put this one onto the the shock. So drag that across. That does not look straight for some reason. So let's just straighten that. Bring that down a little bit. And then Let's duplicate it again, rotate, let's make this one for the, the break cable. Okay, so now we're going to go to object and we're going to go convert, convert curve. And then we're going to go to our curve settings. We just want to raise this a little bit, so it's better quality. And we're going to go to geometry and under bevel we're going to add some depth so that gives it a nice you can see that one accidentally got deleted so let's just fix that okay so those basically are like our little pointers. And this one should actually maybe have just stayed in line with the others. It's going to look better in the render. So we'll just drag it back over there. And then we're going to come in and we're just going to copy that material using Control L materials. So if we go back into rendered view. We now have those like little descriptor lines. So let's add in some text with the text 
cool. And as usual, it's really huge. So let's scale it down, rotate it on the Y axis like that. Scale it down some more so that it's sitting over there. Maybe a little bit smaller. Okay, now under your text, what you want to do here under full mode where it's set to both, you want to change that to none. And that's going to make it look like outlined text. And then under depth, we're just going to add some depth. And once again, we're going to copy the material. And then we can just tab into the text and we're going to write, let's make it all caps, break line and tab. And then we can copy that and we can copy that again. And this one we're going to say shocks can't spell today shocks tab let's drag it a little bit over and this back one we're going to call rear strut so it's based just silly little descriptions but it all adds to the effect of the hologram and as you can see, it really was that easy, nice and simple and straightforward, easy to recreate. So I hope you learned something new. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.